is Ruben once again with Julosophy. If you liked any of my past videos, please subscribe to the channel, like or comment on the video. It will be greatly appreciated. Um, also, consider visiting our blog. We post there literally daily. Great information. All Basically, all the information that you're seeing and hearing on this YouTube channel, you get to read it on the blog. It's, it's almost like... Um, that same information but in written form we've talked about many times how you know when you hear it when you hear something when you watch it you're hearing several different parts of the brain the information is hitting several parts of the brain when you read it it hits another certain part of the brain and and it integrates within yourself very unique also when you see it in a life setting it hits another part of the brain and it it grasps it grasps on to you in a very unique way so visit our blog visit our facebook page all the links are below uh and visit our 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 new our new um channel the soundcloud uh channel where you can download and hear the information so now you can take this information with you whenever or wherever you are as long as you have a mobile phone and i believe you have the option to download the audios as well so you could get this great information you know and and, and listen to it links are below <clears throat> also consider uh, uh, the donation option we have several perks that with certain amounts of donations you get certain perks so uh, all the information is down below today I want to talk about How if you continue to think, if you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. If you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. And this is so true. We talk about the law of attraction. We talk about how you command everything in your life. We talk about how powerful you are and how you create your own reality. God gave you that free will. God gave you that power. You were created in God's image. Biblical scripture says, you ask not because, uh, you have not because you ask not. You know? And, and and the whole basis of you commanding for something to manifest in your life, your dream goes and desires. You know, it also says on there, God will fulfill the desires of your heart. And it talks about how we all have different desires. And how God wants to fulfill those desires. And he put those desires in your heart for a specific reason. That's why we're all different, right? We all have different goals and desires. That, that is why I continue to say there's no right or wrong dream goals or desires because we all are different. Somebody may want to, <clears throat> you know, have the dream or desire to create a magnificent trash can. I don't know. Somebody may have a magnificent obsession to create uh, a certain type of box, uh, a certain door, a certain shirt. You know, a certain, you know, weightlifting equipment. We all have different goals, dreams, and desires. That's why for somebody who, who most people think that people who don't have the desire to become a millionaire or billionaire that, you know, they have wrong desires, that is not the case. Yes, you know, in, in the biblical scripture talks about how God wants you to be prosperous on all levels including your health so there's nothing wrong with being financially stable with being financially well off for you to have all your necessities and all the things that you want right but some people you know don't have the desire for a Ferrari they don't have desires for uh, you know hundred thousand square foot mansion you know 
we are different we're all different so this is why the great saying don't judge a book by its cover it's so true and it still applies and will always apply but we talk about how you command your reality right you create your reality you are a creator you were put on this plane of existence to create that is why when you're creating when when you're going after a goal <clears throat> you feel happy you feel joy you feel fulfilled even if you don't have that certain object or you know finishing uh goal that you're trying to obtain even if you don't have it you still feel this tremendous joy you know and guess what once you do get it <laughs> the joy stops you know it lasts for one or two weeks and then it goes away now you want something more we're here to create we're here not we're not here to be stagnant or or say oh i'm 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 good i have it all no we're here to create that is why when somebody's not creating, somebody's not going after their goals, dreams, and desires, they fall into depression. They um, they feel unfulfilled. They feel unhappy. And it's very unfortunate that most of society is that way. They prefer security, right? They work their job and <clears throat> do all the, you know, things they have to do but they don't do the things they want to do that's a whole different other discussion but we talk about this how you create your reality and how your thoughts are the main role behind all of that how how you feel and how your thoughts you know are it's what you'll get in your life or nightingale said great motivational motivational speaker from the 60s even back then the 60s he said you become what you think about most of the time napoleon hill a great author from the 1920s 30s you know 40s i don't know when he came out with his book think and grow rich but he said whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve and throughout history, we could go back to ancient texts from all religions, and they basically talk about the same thing, how God has put these desires in your heart, and how, you know, those are God's promises, and that you must go after them, and that's how you're fulfilled, and this is what you were put on this plane of existence to do or to accomplish, right? And how you can command things in your life to happen that is basically the basis of all teachings right it's basically what our religion text tells us from all religions not just christianity and even ancient texts uh more ancient than that <clears throat> so this is nothing new but the information throughout time does get simplified and it gets easier to understand so for the longest time people called it prayer right they called it prayer <clears throat> and, and 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 look it's it's nothing more than a prayer but what we're talking about is nothing more than praying than asking god or the universe or a higher power to you know asking them what you want in life remember you have not because you ask not that's biblical scripture there <clears throat> But it, ha it all happens in the mind. It's all about the thought structure. What is going on in the mind? What is going on in your thought process? That is what <clears throat> will develop the emotions within you. The emotions will develop, will, will call forward that reality to you. You know, that is why somebody who has something terrible happened in their lives maybe a car crash or they're diagnosed with this horrible disease or, or like a bad event happens in their life if you go back and you track their emotional stability or, or their emotional state for maybe the last couple of days or the last couple of weeks if you've noticed that <clears throat> 
how they felt when the bad event happened is what they what their emotional state was for so long think about it when think about the last time you had something you know terrible happen in your life you had a challenge in your life right there's no such thing as good or bad the last time you had a big challenge in your life what was your emotional state the last couple of days from that or the last weeks maybe you felt fearful <clears throat> maybe you you felt unworthy maybe you felt like you're unlucky maybe you felt that <clears throat> bad things always happen to you or that you know you you are not blessed what whatever your emotional state was that is what you know you've created look at your your what 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 is going on in your life right now what is happening in your life you'll notice think about your emotional state for the last couple of days and the last weeks you notice that what you feel what whatever is going on in your life that emotional state you have has been going on for either a couple of days <clears throat> or a couple of weeks thoughts but it all happens here that's the start that's where it all start this is where we need need to nip the bud we need to get the root here this is the the root cause is your thoughts your thoughts your thoughts <clears throat> your thoughts create your reality because your thoughts create your emotional state your emotional state creates the manifestation in your life but it all starts out with thoughts that is why positive thinking has been talked about for so long and how that is a major key to success and for the most part it's true yes your your thought process thinking more positive can definitely help you live a more <clears throat> you know emotional stabilized life and maybe a better life but it 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 really all comes down to the emotional state that your thoughts can manage to give you because <clears throat> Maybe you do want a Ferrari, right? Maybe you do want a hundred thousand foot square mansion, and you think about it, and and days pass, weeks pass, months pass, and you say, "Well, I don't have that Ferrari. I've been thinking about it for so long, or I've been thinking about that house for so long, and I still don't have it." Well, one of two, one of two things could happen. You know, Les Brown, the motivational speaker, says a great you know phrase. He says, "It's not over till I win." And, and that's true. Sometimes what you want may not be appropriately ready for you. So it may take some time longer. You know, this is why people have big things manifest, you know, months later, some even years later, because it's when you're ready, the correct time. Right? That's why we don't put timing on our goals. <clears throat> but I, I say that 99% of the time is because you don't believe. Yes, you're thinking about that Ferrari for the last couple of weeks, months. Nothing has come. Yes, you're thinking about that 100,000 foot square mansion, but nothing has come. Right? Well, what is your belief? Yes, you're thinking about it, but your your emotional state is not where it needs to be. You don't feel excited. You don't feel joy. You don't feel like if you've already have it. See, that's the key for whenever you have a goal and you're thinking about it and you know that your thought process plays a major part in it. And that's where it all begins. And and so you're you think about it. You, you think about it to feel good. That's the main goal. You think about it to feel good. If you're not feeling good, then either you, you know you're you're really negative. You need to fix your your thought process, <clears throat> and that is another challenge in itself. Or two, you don't believe. You're not believing, and that's what happens most of the time. See, people think about that Ferrari in the house, but they don't feel like they have it. They don't feel like they can get it. They don't have belief. Again, we could go back to ancient texts like the biblical scripture where it talks about faith and how, you know, yes, you believe because you've seen, but bless those who still believe, who haven't seen, but still believe, right? 
faith. It all goes back to that. Every single spiritual ancient text talks about faith and belief because it's a universal law. It's what makes your reality come forward. What makes you feel good. So you think about a Ferrari, but you don't believe you can get that Ferrari. So you feel bad. You're never going to get the Ferrari. You have to, you know, begin where you are. You're trying to make a 2,000 step jump from where you are. It's impossible. You have to start where you are. Begin thinking about things you can believe in. We're all different. This is not a race. Start where you are. <clears throat> but the thought process is where all, it all begins. And this is why the saying goes, if you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. And that is so true. <clears throat> this is why in relationships... People tend to attract the same type of person over and over and over again. And they they say, I want somebody different, but I keep attracting these same type of individuals. Right? Well, same thing. If you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. You have to change your thoughts. If you want things in your life to change, you have to change things in your life. And the most important you need to change is your thoughts. Because if your thoughts don't change, nothing else will change. And you can change it by plugging into the system of books, audios, um, events. You know, developing relationship with relationships with like-minded people and practicing and receiving and giving recognition. Listen to these videos. Look, look at these videos. Go to the SoundCloud account and download and hear the audios. Watch all these videos over and over again. Go to the blog and read all the posts. Read them over and over again. Print them out. And, and take them with you to work. Take them with you wherever you go and read. There's the basic book list, which um, I don't know if I made a video on it, but I know it's definitely on the blog. I definitely did a blog post on that. Get the books in the basic book list. I will make a video on it soon if I haven't done it already. Get those books, read, plug it into this information over and over and over again. Biblical scripture says... Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. You're hearing these words here. You're reading the information on those posts. You have to start developing your, your thought process into a more positive one. You need to change who you are. You need to change your thought process. You need to change the way you think. If you continue to think like you've always thought, you'll continue to get what you've always got. It's that simple. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Like or comment on the video. <clears throat> Visit all of our other accounts from the SoundCloud to the Facebook to the blog. Um, <clears throat> and, and consider donating. You know, We want to start getting events going. And we, we want to start getting... Um, publishing certain things out uh, and you know for this to happen you know finances are needed so if this is information is helping you out you should consider donating even five dollars right that's a cup of coffee um, whatever you feel you whatever your heart tells you right uh, and even if you don't continue listening to this information because it's free I'm not charging for this information I'm giving it away for free post there's a lot of things written on that post there's a lot of posts there's a lot of information way more than here on the videos that's all for free the audios it's all for free the fake facebook posts and everything it's all for free i mean everything we offer here is most like it's free right so consider donating and so you can support the movement and 
we could start doing bigger and better things, right? So thank you for watching this video. See you guys next time.